It is great to meet you. I know, likewise. Thank you for the lovely um, lead-in to our first premiere episode. Thank oh, you. with The Voice. With The Voice. And your show is, is going incredible. Everyone is so excited to have you here. All the people we're talking about was your butt last week. I think that's my job. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's, 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 uh, ready for camera. Yeah, well, there oh, okay. There it is. Ellen always does this to me, too. Screenshots of I know, my butt. You know happens all the time. The last time I was here, she had me dress up like Madonna. So I think that the fact that my rear end, my, my, my reverse She brought out hood. strippers for me one time. I mean, this <laughs> Ellen, like, you never know what's going to happen. So, uh, so I'm the new Ellen, so you never know what's going to happen now. So, uh, uh, but I appreciate that we're both, like, business buttoned up, ready to go. Yeah, so do you... Exactly. Come yeah. on. So uh, yeah. do, you, do you tell, like, people, like, or your parents? Because I have to deal with my parents. I never show my dad my music videos. Because yeah. that would be really awkward. I think only once I've ever sat next to my mother at a movie premiere and I said, hey mom, um, I'm so sorry for everything you're about to see. <laughs> uh, but on this one, it was kind of like a little bit of a joke of, yeah, my, 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 my butt precedes my face. That's so... my whole career. So, <laughs> me and Kim Kardashian. There so this go. is us. Tell everyone what that is about. What's, what's this uh, about? The show's about family. It's about a family. Um, if you've seen the first episode, then you know that my character and Mandy Moore's character, we are in the past and that we have uh, three grown children, and you're going to see how these kids develop from childhood to the present day where you meet them on the, the, the day of their 36th birthday. Awesome. And Mandy Moore, I'm, like, such a huge fan. Is that she, awesome? And she's incredible, man. Even just now, I, I can't wait to, like, this is going to be my new show that I'm going to binge yeah. watch. Yeah, it but is. I'm it's one of those shows. It's, it's got heart. It's, you know what I love about it? It's hopeful. Yeah. There's, like, a whole landscape of, you know, aliens invading planets and, and, and scandals. meant for me. And all this stuff. But, like, this is inherently good. And it's inclusive. Yeah. Of, like, race and gender and age and everything. This, is, this sounds like the best yeah. show on TV. It's a good show. It's a great show. I can't wait. I can't wait to be checking it out. So it's a big year for you. You've mm -hmm. got this big NBC show. Gilmore Girls is coming on Netflix. Yeah, so that's Gilmore coming Girls back. back. Um, so where did you where did you grow up? Where did where were you born? I grew I grew up down in Orange County, California. So awesome. I'm kind of kind of local boy. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm trying to represent. So do your parents ever go to set? They or? do. They do. But at this point, 21 years in the business, it's like it's kind of like old hat. You know, I'm like, my mom, she'll, she'll walk. She'll, she'll walk on a set. She'll look behind the monitors. Like, I don't want to bother anyone. I'll, yeah. just, I'll just stand back here. My dad literally is just like, okay, where's craft service? Which is the <laughs> snack table. That's exactly my dad. Yeah, they just want to go where the snack table is. Exactly. So I kind of point him in that direction. I'm like, pop, there you go. It's, it's over there. So, but. So what do you do when you're, when you're not working? Um... Personal question. Uh, a lot. No, no. <laughs> I don't uh, like people. I'm always working, you know? So. By the way, yeah, I yeah. totally get that. But th this spring, I found myself with a little bit of free time. After filming the first episode of This Is Us and before I did Gilmore and before we got picked up, I was like, I'm going to challenge myself in a different way. I'm going to learn Japanese. Uh, okay. So, 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 Nihon, Nihongo no Benke Oshimas. Right, so what'd you just what'd you just tell me? Uh, I study Japanese. Oh, okay. All right, give me something else. Give me something too. I know you don't know uh, well, one I mean, thing. Well, I mean, if we knew anything, be like, "Hajime mashite, dozu yoroshiku, miro desu," and then you'd respond in kind. I'm from Nashville, way. so I know no Japanese, but I, I totally get it. It's okay. So you and you also you ride motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my motorcycle a lot to kind of get around town. It's easy. This is getting good, everybody. This is getting good. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, congratulations Thank on you. everything. We're going to be right back, and I think we're going to play a game. And Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to take my clothes off and get dunked. I think. Me too! Woohoo! Okay, we are back with Milo Ventimiglia. For the third year in a row, we're partnering with Ulta Beauty to raise money and awareness for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And today, we're going to put you, Milo, in the splash tank, shirtless. And... If I dunk him, that's ten thousand dollars from Ulta for breast cancer research. Totally worth it. Worth getting a great advice. So go to our website to find out more about Ulta Beauty and how you can support the cause. All right, take it off. Get in there, Milo. It's for a good cause. Come on. So you're lucky. All right, ready? Here we go. Don't judge this. 